right, so I want to talk about Hot Hand USB along with, in this case, Logic 9. This is a really cool little unit to use with a with a program like Logic 9, because um, you can really can you can really get the the essence of your performance. Um, in this case, we're using it with just a little 25 key MIDI keyboard controller, um, so that we can play some sounds and have this act as um, as, as an extra feature that the controller does not have. It's so much more expressive to be able to do stuff with your hands like this as opposed to turning a knob or moving a fader or something like that. So we got this demo project set up and this is downloadable. It's right off of our website at sourceaudio.net. You can, you can get this Logic demo file as well as the Hot Hand USB editor um, editor file for this as well so you can change any of the parameters and really just have some fun with the unit right out of the box essentially. Um, so there's a couple assumptions that I'm going to uh, that I'm going to make that you've done, that you've loaded Logic 9, you got all your controllers and everything all plugged in, Logic 9's up and running. Um, you've gone to open and you've gone to opening the file Hot Hand USB Demo 1. You've also loaded up the Hot Hand USB editor program as well, uh, which is going to bring you right to this guy here. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to reload that. So let's do this. You pull this right up. You go to, f you go to your file, you go to load, you got to find it. In my case, it's right over here and you go and you load up your logic demo one file. There it is. Click on monitor and there we go. Here's all my functions. I wave my hands around. It does all that stuff. So, so right now, this is all linked up to this file. So check this out. I'm going to be able to play this, this demo song. It's going to be controlling some stuff on the analog lead track right here. And there we go. And there we have it. So, what this is, you know, like I said, this is already all set up and ready to go for you. But the cool thing is, is you can really get in here and you can edit this stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm, I just want to get to this other track so that I can play the backing track without the analog lead line that's already in there playing. So I'm muting this track, clicking on track number five, making sure that's armed. And so now I can play my MIDI controller and this is all functioning stuff here. So how we've done this is this is the hot hand is controlling functions of the synthesizer that's making this sound. I'm going to double click on the ES2 because that is the synth that we're doing. So for example, the, the hot hand is controlling different functions of this stuff here. So if I go to this edit window, this is, the hot hand is controlling all these different axes. And so if I want to map this stuff, I need to know that this certain axis is going to be mapped to a certain function that's on the synthesizer, and that's all recognized by the control. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to solo one of these. This is the solo button here. That means that now the program is only getting the input from this one particular movement that I'm doing. In this case, this is the axis Y. This is this left to right axis. And what I want this to control is the function of these cutoffs right here. There you go. So now as I roll this stuff over, it's now controlling that. And how that's done is going back into Logic, typically in your preference window, um, in this case control surfaces, controller assignments, you're going to have some sort of controller assignment, key control assignments, typically under preferences in most of these programs. And that way, you can, by, by clicking learn mode and just clicking what function I want it to do, the computer already automatically syncs the two together. And there we go. Check it right out. So now, let's close this back down. Close this back down. So now, I've mapped a certain function to my sound. Now I can simply record my performance, and it's going to be able to record all those, all those other things that I'm doing as well and capture my performance as a whole. Here we go.